Hello everyone, another finished optic video and because this is March and March is my birthday month, I knitted these socks to put them on Instagram as a giveaway. So let me show you what I've made. First things first, this is a this is my pattern, it's paid for pattern. I love this pair and it was a, just such a pleasure to knit and I know some of my members of this YouTube channel would want me to knit a pair like that for one of the giveaways. I will. Uh, the pattern is called Vintage Gate Socks and if you're a knitter and you would want to uh, purchase this pattern, thank you so much for your support. Straight away I'm telling you there is a discount code for this month because I decided it's my birthday month so for a few days until my birthday. So I will have that discount on Reverly for a per short period of time. So definitely check the links down below. For Etsy, I can set up a sale for a certain period of time. So check it out. What I'll do, it won't be only for this pattern, but it will be for all my patterns. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and take advantage of it. If you're not a knitter, I'm telling you, go on Instagram and I'm going to post a post over there. So read it and see what you need to do uh, to take part in the giveaway. And do not worry, there's also YouTube subscriber giveaway going on every month in the year 2021. That's my kind of challenge to do. So on the screen you have for March 21 pair of socks. If you haven't seen that, go check it out and listen to what you need to do to take part in that one. And also if you're interested to grab something that I knit, you can join YouTube monthly subscription for this channel. You can find the button next to subscription button when you're on computer. There is a video that I'm explaining what that is. Maybe I will link it over here in the eye, so check it out afterwards. Maybe it'll be something you'd be interested. And there are level one and level two. And for level one, I also knit socks and for level two. And in the community section, I post some information and I ask members what, they, what would they want me to knit and I think for March I think 100% was socks so I have the hat and I have socks ready and I presume I'll double check that again and if it's socks it will be socks. I have a time by seven by 7th each month to publish it you know plus minus three days. So there are more things to grab on if you're interested to take part so go down the description scroll down below now let's talk about socks eventually. So the construction over here is a toe up. We have afterthought heels, so you just mark over here. There are two tar charts and written instructions and I follow one chart and I decided to mark for the heel and then contain and then start a new chart but without uh, the first repeat on the back because I want to have a space over here a little bit more. Obviously you can continue as long as you want but I just want to have something cute and pretty um, so I did only another two repeats of the chart and then decided to do the ribbing and then just to have it cute uh, picot bind off. You may notice there are some bubbles over here. There are Barbara's bubbles, so maybe in the eye and on the screen you can go and check the tutorial. You don't have to turn the work. And I remember when I was designing, no, I actually knitted a pink version of this socks uh, for my friend and I forgot to create a bubble in one stage. So I created a tutorial how to make a bubble if you forgot to put a bubble. So on the screen, um, with the pink ones and in the eye and you may notice now that I'm wearing I'm going to live in those sweaters. I'm I'm wearing my first uh, sweater design and has loads of bubbles because I love this way of making bubbles. I also I think put that link over there in case you forget and probably you know I'm a fan of contrast color heels and toes and so on and so on for, for this pattern I would recommend you to have just one and for that reason I knew uh, that I will need minimum 60 grams. Therefore, I had to have two 50 gram balls. Luckily I had, and this is 114 color, 75% wool, 25% polyamide. Although it doesn't say over here is a superwash, if you ever uh, grab the drops, they have it in the front. It says superwash treated sock wool, uh, but they don't have it over here in case you ever wonder. So I presume someone in the future is going to win it, 
I'm going to wear it and probably watch this. So I would say if you want to wash it by hand, do. But if you want to put it to washing machine, I would say it should be fine. Just remember 30 Celsius and just maybe 800 spin. That's how I wash the socks. Um, and because it's a commercial yarn, there's nothing worried to in regards to the color. Um, you should be fine, but no more than 30 Celsius. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're going to have a sneak peek in my Instagram account. And I hope you're going to enjoy and check the stories, this picture of my face. And if this rounding is red, that means there are new stories. So that I try to put something up every day, either uh, I'm knitting or I'm walking and so on and so on. So, so say hi to me over there too, if you came in from the YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye.